night because everything actually comes together even if you didn't think it was going to previously. <laughs> the food's good, the people are good, the, the dancing is fun, you get a good workout so you don't have to go to the gym, you hate the gym. And I don't know, you always learn something new. The suntan from being on stage yesterday afternoon. The midnight tech. It's my favorite part. It's a new experience. It's lots of fun. You get that free gift card to the canteen and just have burgers galore. All the people that I've met here I say is the best part. It's great to come back and see um, new faces with every show and also some staple faces that are that are always here that make it just feel like home. It's really great. It's like adult summer camp. I'd probably be something like a a haunted house or a like Disney Imagineer or something where it, it still revolves around creativity and stuff but that stuff kind of fascinates me. Ooh, I'd be a veterinarian. Ideally I would go back to Corazu when the theater teacher there retires and take over the theater department and hopefully they'd have a my perfect world they'd have a math opening too and I could teach algebra one and two. I love animals. Um, I would be a dentist <laughs> Not crazy about needles, but I love animals. I would probably <laughs> be an investment banker. I would go to culinary school and cook. I would grow up and be very fat and very happy. I would like that. I'm not really good with math, but I think that might be ideal. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Kirsty is in the group Pentatonix. And uh, they just uh, produced a Wizard of Oz, which is A H H H S. And uh, I've been listening to that constantly. Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey. Anything that's really good to run to. I listen to the radio. Anything about surviving, because I need help when I run. In Chicago, 96.3, B96, a lot of pop. All the single ladies. The XX, I like a lot of just like ambient techno music, you know, it's relaxing to me. Not really very many show tunes, I can't really run to show tunes. A lot of Mary Poppins actually, trying to <laughs> learn this show. Right. You get more of, than a run. <laughs> Life is an adventure, oh, yeah. meet Meredith Higgins. It's funny because I always say, you know, oh, that would totally be the title of my autobiography, but now that you're asking me, I can't think of anything. Star Dancer. Something with the flat ball change. Corey Lingner, always be a good hang. Oh, Canada. Party Don't Stop, the real life of Adam. <laughs> and Emma, my dog friend. Uh, um, shoot. Can I put a friend? S U O I D S U O I C S O U I C Oh my gosh, I don't think I can go past that point. I P Nope D a I L. Nope. D A I L. This is not going to happen. A I P. I can barely spell, spell it forwards. You know, I struggled enough to learn how to spell it regularly. There's a G in there. A R F I L A C R E P U S. I L A C 
R E P U S. No? Did I, did I get it wrong? I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would shoot spaghetti out of my fingers. Well, I would say fine, but that, that seems like a cop-out now. I would solve world hunger. Oh. One plate of spaghetti at a time. At the moment, I would like to be able to have like a shield of, of bug-protecting powers because I have been getting eaten alive here the past few days. That would be a very convenient superpower for me right now. I would have to choose the power of Storm from X-Men so I can change the weather. It's always 75 and a slight overcast. It would be teleportation. Move from one place to another, like that. I would want to teleport. Uh, you know, like how, yeah! how, how Jeannie could like, and then she was bing someplace else. Yeah. That's what I would want to do, for sure. Hi, I'm Adam, and this is my new friend Emma. Corey Lingner. It's Allison Jancy. Meredith Higgins. Kayla Hall. Ben Lanham, and we are the ensemble of Mary Poppins at the Muni. Thank you.